guys, welcome back. We've another day in our adventure which found some English speakers. And we're here with lovely sorry, come to Nambi. Himena. Himena. So in Leon, what's your favourite thing to do? Uh, I think that going here to the Place Mayor, to the mall, and going with my friends to the school. It's very funny because the schools are very good in teaching English. Yeah. And all the stores and all of that. You teach English? What? Uh, yeah. You, you really? You're too, you're too young to teach English. <laughs> no. I, I teach English. Oh, no, no. Uh, I'm learning. You're yes. learning English. Okay, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, so if you could live anywhere in the world, where would you like to live? Like right now, if someone had, like, gave you like a plane flight, where would you like to live anywhere in the world? In all the world? Yeah. Um, I think that Korea. Korea? It's very cool. Okay. I had, I had a job in Korea, like, well, uh, a few years ago. I had a job offer. But to say South Korea is pretty miserable. Hey, guys, from the video? Okay. Hey, guys. So, so in, in all the world, where would you like to live? Anywhere in the world? Right now. Canada. 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 Ah, like Justin Bieber. Like yeah. Sweet. Germany. Germany. Ah, uh, okay. well, I heard Germany is pretty uh, miserable, muy triste. Like it's always raining, always. Hey guys, welcome back to another day in our adventure. We're just here in Leon, and we found. Is there something about the book? Leon has bulls. Yeah. Okay, cool. Uh, like, uh... Are, 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 are those bulls you ride? Or are the bulls with the, the red... With the red... Uh, with the red uh, you're like, oh, yeah. Underlay, underlay. Ole, uh, yeah. Ole, ole. 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 Uh, uh, whereabouts is that? Uh, can you point the direction? No, it's, the, uh, it's like... Uh, 40 minutes in car. 40 minutes in car? Yeah. Okay. So, which direction is it? Do you know the direction? Direction to San Francisco, El Rincón. Okay. And like the out of the city. Okay. Yeah, because we've just been walking around and it's just like, oh, we we can't find anything. We think it's like a nothing kind of city. So we're looking forward to going back to Guanajuato. But like, here it's just like USA, a bit like suburban USA. Yeah. But like, um, this is the most beautiful place in, in Leon. Yeah. All right. This, this part of Leon is the yeah. most beautiful part of the city. Okay, cool. But the most cultural is like in. El centro, el centro, yeah, oh. and like at the stadium, sí. the stadium, sí. uh, Poliforum over there, it's okay. like a more cultural, uh, the Museum of, of Culture, yeah. it's right there. Okay, and you have all the food and everything there, yeah. and the, the dancing and the... Yeah, it, everything is, is over that yeah. part of like it. Going out oh, excellent, uh, you nailed it, thanks a lot guys. Okay. Hey guys, this is the best thing in all of Leon, I asked the girls, the girls before, and they said the best thing to do is the ice rink. And who? And you can actually see why, because it's been three months of like non-stop really bad heat. It's been really hot here, so this is like really nice to feel. This is the, the first time I've seen you guys. Oh, hey. Hi! Hola, hola, Yes. Okay, I'm just, I'm doing like, I, buy, I travel the world and I do YouTube videos. Uh -huh. I'm just, I'm in Leon, I'm, I live in Guanajuato for a few months teaching English. But what's your favourite thing to do in all of Leon, besides the ice rink, because someone already said that. Well, my favorite place in Leon, of course, is the ice rink. Oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, I love it. But I like to go to Parque Metropolitano also. Yeah, they have a water. Oh, a waterfall? No, oh, like you have a walk? A walk? Yeah, it's like a park. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> Say hi! So, Let's get into the <laughs> Oh, it's okay, it's okay. Are you familiar? Yeah. Okay, so your favorite thing to do is the park and walking. Yeah, the park and here in the ice cream. Yeah, no, I've, I've been Viva as a key for uh, today's mess and it's been so hot every day and like, now it's so nice to feel this cool. Yeah, you can, you can, uh, like, buy your bracelet and come yeah. here. Okay, come like, like, Sorry? What's your name? Juliana. Yeah, and your favorite thing to do is the park. It's the park. It has like grass and waterfalls in it. No, no waterfalls. No waterfalls. Okay. No. It just looks like a pond. Yes. Okay, all right, cheers. Bye. 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 So yeah, that's the best thing to do, isn't it? Um, it's not like Guanajuato, right? Guanajuato is... Well, we don't have any parks in Guanajuato. It's just more like uh, Italy. Italy and France, you know, Italy and um, Spain combined. But yeah. Let me know if it should shave my beard, guys. I'll get my beard back. Because last time I had my beard, I looked really scraggy. But I had like this, I think I had the energy of just like chill. Like I just didn't care at all. And I think that's why... Um, the girls. So yeah, some ice cream. Here. I think that's why when 
I posted girls, the girls were just like, oh, can I touch your hair? They were pretty chill about it. Um, a bit more fun. Yeah, the girl from Guadalajara, I can't wait to go there. She was like, she looked like a model, um, but the rest of it don't. It's kind of like that in un unknown kind of places, the kind of scared of foreigners. But that was so nice to feel the ice rink. It felt how my friend is in uh, Belgium right now and he just took some pictures of like how cold it is. And I was like, it's the first time in my life where I've ever wanted like rain and coldness. You know, because the heat just like it makes your skin itch and it just gets a bit annoying sometimes. But that was. So yesterday we had some rain and um, first, first rain in three months and it felt so refreshing. It felt so nice. But yeah, this is like. This is the highlight of the city. Leon, it's a nothing kind of city, and uh, even the girl said the girl said from um, Guadalajara. I was a bit annoyed, a bit. So I said, "Is everyone this cagey in, in Mexico and paranoid?" And um, you know, because the other friends, once saw me on Instagram, they were kind of like looked at her and say, "No, we don't want to be in the video." But she was kind of like, "Oh, maybe no, I do." No, Obviously, the friends uh, influenced her; she couldn't think for herself. Um, but she was pretty open-minded, pretty cool. But the rest of them were kind of cagey. Um, you get that. Into. That's why I can't wait to go to Guadalajara soon. Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another adventure. We just found a cool English speaker. Is that promising on me? Sophia. Sophia. Okay, so oh, we've, uh, we've covered the ice rink and the park. Another girl said, but well, what's your favourite thing to do in our video? It could be walking the centre of the open. Okay. What do you mean, what's there though? I mean, you just so, walk and there's a lot of pools and stuff. Eat ice cream. Okay. It just stays there. Anyway. Sounds like a downtown kind of a Mexico city. Kind of, kind of like that. Kind of like, that yeah. kind of like a shopping place, like having. An avenue, like a shopping it's avenue. It's not an avenue, it's like a. Have you been to Guanajuato, the center of Guanajuato? Uh, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I live in Guanajuato, yeah, so. Oh, yeah, it's kind of like that. Yeah, so it's kind of like Italian, Spanish kind of architecture. Yeah, I know. Maybe a bit. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, not that much, but. Uh, All right. But it's not, it's not dangerous here, because people seem I, I should be careful. No. It's not dangerous. Not dangerous. I mean, you don't go, like, you go to the center and that's it. Yeah, it's okay. So the centre has it just has like soft shopping and fun things to do there. Yeah. Okay, cool. How how's your English so good? Do you did you live in USA? Uh, no. I've I've studied here for my whole life. Your whole life? Okay, pretty cool. Anyways, gracias, gracias. Thank, you. Thank you. Hi guys, we found a few English speakers here and we found this cool aromatherapy session with some uh, cute girls here, so we've just been here. Hola. 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 Bienvenidos a Leon. Bienvenidos a la Leon. Okay. Uh, how's Camila. Camila and two for Liz. Two for Mama Mama. No. So, so Veniki for Esther. Uh, <laughs> makes you really muy feliz, really happy. So, what's your favorite thing to do in Leon? Like uh, activity for Leon? Like uh, La Pista de Hielo. Pista de Hielo. Ah, este bien. Un parque. <laughs> yeah, the um, pretty cagey kind of city because they don't get much foreigners here. So, uh, yeah, like I approached some girls and like it wasn't good last week. I mean, last week I, you know, like the girl said, she could have touch your hair, and uh, that's never happened before. But um, probably because I'm more relaxed and um, just when you get used to a place, it's kind of like uh, you get frustrated. You just want to get out, you know, go somewhere else. But yeah, I, I met a girl from Guadalajara here. She was in a group of girls, like those group of girls that are just there. And they were, she was really, um, how do you say, she was more open-minded. She was like, yeah, I want to be in a video. But all her friends were just like, oh, no, see your Instagram first. And so on Instagram, they're just like, oh, no. Because they judge everything, you know, by following everything. They're really cagey. And um, yeah, so, but she was like, she was like really petite. She was like a model looking. She was like, yeah, okay, I want to be in a video. But then all her friends, you know, like usually doing Latin America, we're just like, oh no, I don't, I don't want to be in a video. But then there was, and, and she, no, no, all her friends were like, no, no. She, she gave her like a, a look, like, oh no, I don't, I don't want to be in your video. It's okay. But that girl in the red top just smiled at me, so we're gonna go back and talk. But yeah, she, that girl. Uh, so I'm gonna approach her and see if she. Um, but yeah, like they said, that there must be an ice rink. You know, it's like around about November time. If something happens here. But uh, yeah, I, I said I got really picked up. She, she, she was pretty cool, but I, um, I think it's just me. I just like feel I'm a bit out of breath, a bit exhausted. I had to get ready for a jumping interview and I had to shave. And 
let me know if, if you guys feel the same whenever you shave you feel uh, you have to prepare for anything you feel like full of anxiety where where isn't like days off with if you say like okay i'm gonna have a day off today um you know i'm gonna just chill and not shave or do anything like i did that day and like the girl touched my hair and there's a girl yeah and like uh, i just didn't shave at all and you know i was just like oh she, she like she touched my hair and everything i just had to dodge those girls because that's the girls behind me that, um was a bit cagey and i was saying like oh has everyone that cagey in mexico i said for the guadalajara girl she was pretty cool um she was the modelish kind of girl in the front i'm not sure if you saw her huh? but yeah it's like a even the girl said, she said, there's nothing much to do here. Uh, the ice rink. Apparently there's a big shopping park. Um, I'm not sure what it said. I mean, so I need to get something to drink anyways. So if you come here, fine, don't. This is the shopping centre. It looks like something from a uh, suburban kind of USA. But if you want to come here, uh, go to the place that the uh, the, girl, the girl said, she said, it's shopping, uh, like, like shopping avenue. I imagine it's a bit like Mexico City where you have the big main avenue uh, downtown Centro. So I might go there, but no. I'm going to try and look for the girl that I met two weeks ago. She, she, she keeps telling me to come back to her optometrist. She works in a top, top optometrist. And uh, she's so like... She's one of those girls that's like um, spiritual. And spiritual girls are really sexual. Like She wrote me tons of texts saying... Um, um, Oh, your energy's so good, Aaron. You're, she called me Man of the Sun. I think she saw my last picture with the long hair and I was in the sun and the, the beard. She's saying, oh, man, she calls me my, my Man of the Sun. And she, her energy is just like really sexual and magnetic. You know when you put those spiritual girls? But yeah, those, those spiritual girls are the best. They're really up for it. Because um, she, she's healthy. She's, she's all against that McDonald's stuff. Whereas everyone else eats McDonald's and all that crap food and they're really sick. Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another adventure. So yeah, we're on the way back to Leon for another job interview. Uh, so yeah, back in Leon, the nothing kind of town, of a nothing kind of city. It's kind of a nothing kind of city. Like uh, there's not much going on. There's no nature, not much adventure to do here. But like, like I said, like the best, like uh, the best place to meet girls, like the, the cities where nothing ever happens because they don't have any much outlet, like in Rio de Janeiro. When I was in Rio all the time, you don't feel the need to, you know, go after girls all the time because you just have the adventure, you have the beaches and everything. But this is just, Leon is a bit, it's kind of a bit of a nothing kind of city. Like, um, it's really, it's kind of like any sub suburban kind of city in, uh, in, in USA. It's just uh, shopping malls, um, a bit polluted, you know, Starbucks, that kind of thing, consumerism kind of city. Yeah, guys, how are you doing? So here, I'm here for an interview now, going to rice school. Yeah, so see, it's really quiet, really peaceful here. So yeah, it's like not like uh, Mexico City, you know, or all the popular city, other popular cities. But yeah, and it also, yeah, when I was in Guanajuato, um, I also met another um, cool girl from Leon. Every single hot girl I meet in Guanajuato, they're all from like Le Leon. They're usually slim and usually well put together here. Yeah. It's more like, it's more like model, model-esque kind of place, you know, usually places like that, usually the modern places. Lots of malls, shopping malls, cosmopolitan kind of lifestyle, so yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Living Healthy, you know, I'm living life to the fullest. So yeah, hey, if you saw in the other episode, like uh, I already talked about watermelon, I have watermelon every single day, because the, uh, it's the one best food that boosts blood, blood flow to the- Hey guys, welcome back to another day, another adventure. Ricky, we're in a new city now, just uh, near Guanajuato. But I'm going to be, I've got an interview for to be an te English teacher here. So we're here in Leon. Leon is, uh, I was here a couple of weeks ago and this is like um, Lake Guanajuato, like you saw in the last video, that's more, that's more like, um, it's more like, you know, a little kind of Italy, a little kind of Spain. Um, but this, this looks like USA. I mean, look at this. You find American food chains everywhere. This is just like highways and oh, Dairy Queen. I didn't even know Mexico had Dairy Queen. That's unbelievable because that, that, oh, I might have to go there because Dairy Queen has the nicest ice cream ever. 
Uh, last time I had, I was in Saudi Arabia in uh, 2014 and I worked there. And the only thing I look forward to in all of Saudi Arabia, because they don't allow alcohol, they don't allow girls, you know, they don't allow to speak to girls or anyways in Saudi Arabia. All, all I did was look forward to my day off and I had the Sunday, this blizzard, and yeah, I'm a big foodie, but that was the nice ice cream ever. I remember when I was in USA and I was working, uh, I was uh, doing construction work in the back garden. And afterwards, I was sweating, I was sweating all day and I just had an ice cream for Dairy Queen. It was the nicest taste of ice cream I've ever had. Uh, but yeah, Leon is more, people say it's dangerous for foreigners. I was here last time and it didn't seem dangerous, but uh, I had one person, I was, I was walking past this guy at the bus stop and he was like a young teenage guy, guy and he went, fuck you, fuck you. And so they have that, um, I think they have a lot of hate towards America. Hey guys, we're here still in Leon and we're here to find the only place that's probably active in Leon. It's a uh, shopping Plaza Mia. Plaza Mia, this is like being back in USA except for the only difference between here in USA is that the uh, shopping malls are kind of packed, whereas in USA everyone's on the phone and inside watching Netflix. Yeah, just anyway, just to keep the point. I just hope to group of girls that you know I give them my content info for teaching English. And uh, you know, I said, Oh, I own a hotel, you know, you can come to my hotel and we can, uh, you know, you can teach you some English. 